The Astronomer for the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection 11, Science. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Newgate Novelist. The Astronomer by Constance Naden. White, cold, and sacred is my chosen home, a seat for gods, a mount divine and from the height of this eternal dome sky sea and earth are mine all these i love but only heaven is near only the tranquil stars i know i see the map of earth but never hear life's tumult far below bright hieroglyphs i read in heaven's book but oft with eyes too dim for these in half regretful ignorance i look on common fields and trees scant fare for wife and child the fisher gains from yon broad belt of lucent grey rude peasants till those green and golden plains am i more wise than they oh far less glad and yet could i descend and breathe the lowland air again how should i find a brother or a friend mid earth contented men though while i sat beside my household fire some dear dear hand should clasp my own must i not pine with homesick sharp desire for this my mountain throne i were impatient of the narrowed skies yes even of the clasping hand and she sad gazing in my restless eyes would haply understand and know my fevered yearning to depart to dwell once more alone and free well might i love yet needs must break the heart that puts its trust in me yet hope and ecstasy desert me not but coldly shine like moonlit snows this earthly dream renounced yet unforgot to heavenly splendour grows for oft when sleep has lulled a brain o'erwrought strange light across my brow is thrown the glorious incarnation of my thought urania stands alone she passionless of no fond woman born towers awful in her virgin grace calmly she smiles the first faint rose of morn flushes her sovereign face her atmosphere of white unswerving rays athwart the fading moonlight swims rare vapour like a comet's luminous haze floats round her argent limbs her clear celestial eyes look deep in mine her brow and breast gleam icy pure she whispers be thy heart my secret shrine so shall thy strength endure so shall thy godlike wisdom soar above all rainbow hues of grief or mirth and i will love thee as the stars do love even thy distant earth then her eyes lighten then her voice thrills clear but life and death contend in me and still she speaks but now i may not hear shines but i dare not see how shall immortal splendour wed the gaze of man who knows but that which seems whose sight were blinded if the sun should blaze with unrefracted beams void were the earth and formless if arrayed in purity of perfect white all things are clear by colour and by shade glorious with lack of light but what is she whose beauty makes me blind whose voice is like the voice of fate what save a lustrous mirage of the mind my slave whom i create yet from such dear illusions wisdom springs though these may fade she shall not die in fabled forms of heroes and of kings e'en yet we map the sky slow conquering truth loves well the joyous noon but silent midnight gave her birth the cone of darkness that o'ershades the moon revealed the orbit earth man knelt to constellated sun supreme but as he knelt to golden clods nor till he ceased to worship e'er could dream the greatness of his gods he wove for all the planets as they passed strange legends wrought of love and youth while o'er the poet's soul was vaguely cast a shadow of the truth kinsman is he to all the stars that burn mirrored in eyes of sleepless awe and from his brotherhood with dust may learn the heaven's living law nor shall the essences of truth and might sleep ever in thick darkness furled yon dim horizon bounds my present sight not the eternal world when the skies glitter when the earth is cold in some divine and voiceless hour the heavens vanish and mine eyes behold the elemental power now has the breath of god my being thrilled within around his word i hear for all the universe my heart is filled with love that casts out fear in one deep gaze to concentrate the whole of that which was is now shall be to feel it like the thought of mine own soul such power is given to me my sight love strengthened time and space controls no more are force and will at strife beyond the sun i pass around me rolls infinite circled life this realm where he his destined orbit keeps this world of planet ruling spheres borne onward with its pleiad centre sweeps through unimagined years in suns that shining for some nobler race their twin-born light commingled give and through black depths of interstellar space a boundless life i live 
to me the orbs their fiery past reveal with each minutest change designed till in this harmony of worlds i feel the future of mankind when each shall aid the universal plan when every deed its end shall serve when e'en the wildest comet thought of man shall flash in ordered curve when mighty souls that burst all prison bars shall their diviner selves obey when man shall hold communion with the stars constant and calm as they when every heart shall perfect peace attain and every mind celestial scope such were mine own save for this hungry pain this lack of earth-born hope i were content though palsied sightless dumb if blasting toil-worn brain than i the heights and depths of human joy to come shone clear before i die End of The Astronomer by Constance Naden.